The current country club's lush and picturesque golf course will for the third time running be the center stage of one of the region's most prestigious golf tournaments, the KCB Karen Masters. The tournament was marking its third edition since inception and its second as part of the esteemed Sunshine Tour. We started the Karen Masters three years ago. Um, to celebrate our 80 years of, of Karen Country Club. We were 80 years old, even older than I am. I've followed it up, uh, the KCB Karen Masters, from I think 2017, um, and I think I've seen it grow in leaps and bounds. Obviously, it being included in the Sunshine Tour makes it a bigger and better tournament, and obviously increasing the prize money attracts more and more competitors and more and more professionals. We piggybacked with the Kenya Open that year, which was still a challenge tour event, and basically said, look, can we, can we borrow some of your pros to, to have a, a weekend of fun? So we actually had, the, the format then was two rounds of Pro-Am and then the pros only on, on the Sunday. And they worked really well. We had about 40, 45 pros um, from the European Challenge Tour, which worked very well. It was nice for them. They came in early. They got used to high altitude golf and we had a fabulous competition. And then that year, after it had worked well, we, we, we were able to open up the discussion with the Sunshine Tour and say, look, guys, you know, we've got this thing established now. It seemed to work well. We'd like it to continue. We would like to have a, a proper four day event and, and turn it into a sanctioned event with the Sunshine Tour. And they've been keen to come up to Kenya. They tried to get up here in 2010, um, didn't quite manage to get the sponsorship sorted out so they said yeah love to it would be great to do and the spirit that we, we went into it was around saying okay it'll be good it's nice to have the sunshine tour but we want to be involved in developing the game of pro golf in in the africa continent well it's quite strange you asked that question because this event came by via a Skype call I had with Andy Watt, the tournament director of the Karen Golf Club. And one thing led to another and uh, it became part of our schedule. And uh, thankfully we're here. It's just the most amazing event. So we want to have a lot of slots for the PGK, the Professional Golfers of Kenya, playing. And we want to have invitations from other African countries who don't normally play on the Sunshine Tour, but they're pros in their own right. The rationale behind that is, if they come up here, then our guys will get invited back down there. Some of them will get invited back down there. So it's a chance to spread the game a little bit more, get the pros exposed to higher level of competition, and hopefully improve their golf game as well. What happened was that uh, three years back, it was the 80th anniversary of uh, Karen Country Club. So they wanted to start the Karen Masters, which was uh, a tournament that was going to be similar to the Augusta, Georgia US Masters, where they give out the green jacket. When they conceived the idea of running this event for Eastern Africa, for Pan-Africa, for the region, they said what we need is a, a big partner to come in and provide a substantive prize money. So we, we, we jumped on it. We thought it was a very, an excellent idea because we'd been sponsoring golf for about 17 years, 18 years at that point. What we wanted was to enable uh, the professional golfers of Kenya to get a substantive leg up. You can't do an event like this without sponsorship. And KCB um, thought it was a good idea three years ago when we started um, and they've stayed with us all the way through and it's grown and grown and got better and better. We've been able to increase the prize money to 2.2 million rand this year. So I think that's actually the second highest prize money on the Sunshine Tour, which is nice. It's nice for the pros to come up. It keeps their interest. Um, you know, the other sponsors that have come in behind very strongly, people like Johnny Walker, Coke Studios down in the village. There's going to be a wonderful um, party down in the village over Friday night, Saturday night. Some acts coming in from uh, South Africa, some local acts, local performers. It'll be a good thing to do. I mentioned Safaricom with the media center and the, the junior golf. That's really important to us. We've had support from Meridian Healthcare, AAR. We've had a lot and a lot of support. Toyota have come in with a, with a hole-in-one car, which was one last year. They had a Prado last year. A, a lot of sponsors coming in behind and, and really supporting the game very strongly.
I am delighted to join you all for the 2019 KCB Pro-Am Tournament Prize Giving Ceremony, which marks the beginning of this year's KCB Current Masters. I wish to thank Current Country Club for hosting us and tournament officials for the high standards of the tournament. So our focus at the moment is to be in Africa. You know, we currently have two events in, uh, in Zambia, event in Kenya, we do in Swaziland, we have in Zimbabwe. We're going outside of our borders, which is great for the game of golf uh, from an African perspective. We like to think that the Sunshine Tour has the players back home have are the benchmark, and this, these events give players from outside of our country an opportunity to see where they are. And there's some great players in Kenya and Nigeria. I think we have 19 countries represented this week, which is just fantastic for the broader aspect of the game of golf. And that's what we want to achieve. It's not about South Africa, it's about Africa. For the last three years, KCB has a bigger franchise of investing significantly on sports. And for us, our partnership with the Sunshine Tour and also the club here, the current country club, has been a significant for us. I would say extremely strategic in the last uh, this is a third year. And we have a long history as an organization. The next four days, we'll see the pros battle for top honors at our event. There will be a cut on Friday where 156 golfers will be reduced to 70. This is a testament of the competitive nature of the Sunshine Tour sanctioned event. Well, the good thing about the KCB uh, Karen Masters is that we have a wonderful committee at the golf club. So they have uh, planning meetings on a, on a regular basis. Every second week they have a, a meeting to go through certain things that we've put down on our, on our uh, working document. So to have them working at behind the scenes makes life so much easier for us. So we put everything together and they do the job. And to have a committee like they have here at, at Karen is fantastic. I mean, Andy Watt uh, runs the whole show and they just do an unbelievable job. So when we get here, pretty much everything is done. No, it's huge. I mean, obviously down south at the moment, we can't play golf because it's winter, the golf courses are terrible, it's cold. Uh, so playing north of our borders gives us an opportunity. And we have a player here who's just arrived back uh, on Tuesday from the US Open, Merrick Bremner, who's playing this week. So there's a player who played a major last week who's come back to support this event, Donny van Tonda. We've also been playing in America. He's here this week. Philip Eriksson, we're playing in Europe. Won our Dar Data last year, uh, which qualified him in for the FedEx event uh, at St. Jude. Um, he's playing this week as well. He's come back from European Challenge Tour. The guys see the value of the event, which is fantastic. It's one of the bigger events on our schedule in terms of prize money, prize month. And uh, for them to come back and support it, it's huge for us. And it's huge for golf in the region, as far as I'm concerned, because bigger name players supporting events means that the event is important to them. For me, I think taking part in the prom is a, is, is a great honor, it's a pleasure. Of course, uh, being supported by a big brand like KCB. And uh, this is not an opportunity that anyone gets. Um, I think there's very many, many, many golfers who would have loved to play in this particular tournament. But I was privileged just to have a chance to play alongside uh, Simon Gige, who was one of the pros who did very well in the previous international tournament. I've also played uh, with, uh, with some good folks that are some good friendships that I'd keep for a long time. So personally, it's a, it's an honor, it's a great pleasure to play alongside the professionals right here in the 2019 edition of the KCB Current Masters. This is a very good uh, chance for us to actually be able to hone our skills because it's a big uh, event and also it gives you a chance to know how your game is so it's a it's a it's a good privilege for local pro, local pros and amateurs to actually prove a point and i'm very sure that this this week everyone is feeling a kind of uh, more motivated and uh, looking forward for those good scores In the first round, emphasis was on making the cut, with a contingent of Kenyan pro golfers looking to make their presence felt. It was a case of mixed results as Justice Madoya and CJ Wangai got their campaigns off to a good start. Yeah, I'm happy with my performance today. 
Um, according uh, that I know the course since I played the Kenya Open and I made the cut, finding the course a bit tough, but I'm enjoying my game. This big difference is yes, because the, the course is in a very good setup and preparation is also very good because we prepared in the, after the, the four rounds that we prepared as the Kenyan pros. So things are not uh, like the last year. Yeah, we're getting a lot of challenge, but I uh, remember I played in the Kenya Open with the top guys, so I'm used to the challenge a bit. So not very afraid. Yeah, I'm hoping to get more more under pass according to the way I'm striking the ball well. To be frank, I'm very happy about the performance. I just look forward to see if I can get the same results or even better than that. My target uh, for now is that uh, I just need to stay within amongst the people who will make the cut. That's my first priority. And secondly is to ensure that if I get a chance uh, during the weekend, then I can see if I can really go low than my, my target. Today I, I hit a lot of greens with, uh, on regulation. It's only that the, on the last hole I missed the green and uh, it punished me, it took away one shot from my results. So my strategy is all about just hitting greens in regulation and trying to see if you can roll that part nicely and you get a good uh, break. My game plan is just to stick with PA because I think that is what is going to lead me to a, a, a good performance. Edwin Modani and Mohit Madirata were among those who got a challenging first round on the course. I made two double bogeys and that was my score. Didn't really make a lot of putts, so just didn't get it going today. But uh, yeah, we live to fight another day. I didn't really give myself enough opportunities. If I can give myself a lot of... I'm putting well. If I can give myself a few more birdie chances, hold a few more putts, I should be good to go. Other than that, yeah, nothing really. Just hit the fairway, hit the green, make the putt. We all want the best for each other. We're all in it together. Um, of course, if some Kenyans do well, I, I, I'll be more than happy for them. So at the end of the day, we, we're all fighting the same battle. Uh, yes, I am focused on myself, uh, as, as you'd expect everybody to be. But, uh, you know, I wish all the Kenyans best of luck for the week. And, you know, to Pamoja, we're all together. And let's do this. Uh, basically, my putting has let me down today. I also, I missed a couple of greens on the wrong side, which you can't do that on this course with the way it's set up. So, tomorrow, try and get a bit aggressive because uh, I need to drop six shots and uh, that's a big call for a course like this. The Safari Tour champion Greg Snow rounded up the day as the best performing Kenyan with a score of five under par. Yeah, very solid uh, today off the tee. Get the ball in play. Hit a lot of greens in the first nine. Got myself going and held a few putts. So I'm really pleased about a good opening round. I feel like I haven't played a good score like this in a while so it was due and uh, the swing's good and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah I stuck with the game plan I mean I had a practice run on Sunday didn't do anything on Monday and Tuesday just practiced uh, Wednesday played the program and I picked up a game plan for the first two days of this, uh, this tournament to see what I can do and I uh, just stuck with my strategy and uh, executed very well today. Game plan's the same uh, same as today tomorrow just keep it on keep it in play Hit as many greens as possible. I think that's the key around this golf course right now, hitting the greens, because these greens are fantastic. Uh, you can hold a lot of putts. Uh, yes, it has been a good round. I started very well. The only thing is that on the back nine, I've dropped uh, two shots, uh, which I think is normal, and that's how golf goes. So tomorrow, I'll try and be on my toes, both of the side, first nine and both second nine. But overall, it's a, it has been a good round. The top 10, we have Greg Snow, who's already on five under. So we, we, we are noting that there is an improved performance on the Kenyan side. I think this has been as a result of the preparation we have had through the road to the Masters, courtesy of KCB. So uh, overall, I think we, we are doing better this year, more than any other year. Tomorrow, I'm looking to play a better round than today. If I play a better round than today, then definitely I know I'll make the cut. Because the first two days, our main aim is to make the cut. After you make the cut from the, from the third day and the fourth day, you're trying to get a better position. Okay, basically what I may wish uh, to all the Kenyans out there, I'll request them to come out in large numbers. 
Let's come and support our fellow Kenyans. This time they are doing really better. And I think the more support we get from outside Azia, the more support we get from our fellow Kenyans, the better we are going to perform. So let's all come here at KCB Karen Masters at Karen. I think uh, there is a lot of fun here. Besides watching golf, there is a lot of fun here. So let's all come out with large numbers and support our own guys as they try to take this trophy home. The day would ultimately belong to Portugal's Steven Ferreira, who stunned everyone to register a cost record of 10 under par. You know, I hit the ball, hit the ball solid, drove the ball well. If I missed the green, I managed to get up and down and hold a lot of putts. I kind of attack the course pretty much. I hit driver every hole, except for the par threes, obviously. Yeah, other than that, it was a, a good day. I think I'm just going to stick to the same game plan. Obviously, I like hitting driver, so I'll keep hitting driver. Just keep doing what I'm doing and we'll see what see what happens. You know, I'm just going to obviously stick to what I'm doing. The pressure's always there, obviously, when you're leading a tournament already after the first round. Um, but yeah, I'll just try and hold my nerves and just keep doing what I'm doing and just focus on my game and not worry about it, what everyone else is doing. The second round of the tournament proved to be uniquely challenging to a majority, but there was lots to smile about with an impressive number of Kenyan golfers making the cut. I found the course a bit uh, okay. I hit uh, uh, actually a great regulation golf. I hit a lot of greens today, so yeah, I think I paid off. The first two rounds actually I played just to make the cut, so tomorrow I'm going to try and go a bit uh, more deeper, because now from tomorrow is now uh, looking uh, for a better position. However, an emerging challenge in the name of Toto Timber with a score of 13 under par would ensure that the battle for the main trophy would remain as fierce as ever. I feel good about myself and I feel good the way I, I play today and I think I uh, put some decent round today so I'm looking forward to more and play good again and, and, and yeah. No, it's, I, I don't play to make the cut, you know, I play to win so my main focus is to win, you know. Uh, so if I can win them all, that would be great, you know. So I, I think my attitude was great the past two days, you know. And uh, you know, I, I was putting well, I was hitting the ball good, so I felt good about my game. Look, it was playing tough, you know, but I, I played great, you know. I hit good shots, played very well. So look, if you if you're shooting 63, the course was playing good for me. So yeah, I'm gonna continue with my uh, attitude and then with my game plan and I think you know if if I can play the way I played the past two days I don't see why I can win. Portugal's Steven Ferreira maintained his lead in the overall standings with a score of 16 under par. To be honest not a lot obviously I'm very happy with the with 66 after a low one yesterday it's always tough to carry that on um, but yeah I got off to a bit of a shaky start on the first with bogey but got it back quickly and then yeah I was in a good place and hitting the ball good um, putting well so yeah I was just stick to the same game plan as yesterday and see what happens I didn't hit a bad shot like I hit a good tee shot the second just came out a bit, a bit dead out of the rough um, ended up short then I hit a great chip and left the putt in the mouth um, so yeah, I wasn't too upset and I knew there were plenty of holes to make birdie coming in so I was I was ready to go from there. To be honest, I think I'm just gonna do what I've been doing the last two days. It's been working, so hopefully I can do that. Um, and then we'll just see, you know, I'm not gonna be too worried about what the other guys at the back are doing um, or behind me. Whatever they shoot, that's what they shoot. I've just gotta stick to what I'm doing, play the course myself and move on. At the end of a challenging round on the course, the fans were treated to an exciting performance by the master act, Nyashinsky. Kwa 
rapper tu kwa famous ama jua lisikia ma rap upendo na ma dame basi na titaliri sis kwa hizi interviews na mimi tu ndo nimetaliri video kenta million views wewe 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 yes yes she is yes we come now by iko hapo sema area tonge kwa mio la Merudi watani wakaanza kuambiwa ritai secular lakini wanika gospel fine to live a life gentle sound ikan ko my dream but juicy we like lipa na matatu na chena siuzi we yai nimetoka mbali i said i see she don't die true story uh kwa sisi tabidiana lakini atijai atana sana na vidiana kwa nini na madali wa inshallah mimi na vidiana mawili zipi sana kando na kupo sana ya mimi Mimi na kile mimi na kicha pale wache kujitokesha mimi mimi ndo kicha ene mzee watata lini kujichocha tu ni kia tu kisimama na mimi mbona fifama ni gani wow na 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 wow na 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 yeah wow na 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 wow na 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 In addition to the exciting golf action, day 3 of the KCB Karen Masters served up a treat for the junior golfers who enjoyed a coaching clinic facilitated by one of the sponsors, Safaricom. So the other thing we also do is we 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 ha- we involve the juniors. So we um we've been very lucky to have um KCB supporting the main event. We have Safaricom supporting us with a junior golf shootout. So we're going to bring in I think it's about 40 or 50 juniors who on the Saturday will will have a uh, the, the 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 better the older players the better ones will have a drive chip and putt a bit like they do in Augusta and then the younger ones will just do a chip and a putt. But they're playing for some prizes and their prize giving will also be on the final day with the alongside the pros. So it's a nice, you know it's recognizing the junior so it's about developing the pro game developing the junior game and and setting ourselves apart from from um, the Kenya Open which is obviously a, a, a pro only tournament uh, my name is uh, Philip Wahome I'm a member of the of this club but at the same time I've also brought uh, my da- daughter here who's also a member of the Junior Golf Foundation and she's 8 years to just come and uh, practice get training from the professionals as well as uh, train and uh, compete as a parent this is extremely uh, important for me because she gets uh, exposure to uh, a, a sport which is golf but also most importantly is that we are training the next pipeline of uh, talent you're seeing what uh, the professionals are doing in the field but the reason why we also here is just to give them exposure to make them understand uh, the game uh, get to see how the professionals do it and uh, also get to experience and enjoy among their peers an exceptional opportunity for the future golf talent as they interacted with the pros and learned basic skills such as putting and chipping Hi my name is Daniel Bini van Tonder I've been here giving the kids some lessons helping them and trying to build the future just some chipping habits and teaching them the technique and then just helping them with the putting I think to grow the the junior uh, junior golf it's very important for every country because that's that's where you, you want the golfers the the they begin to play golf from junior foundation and take them up to pro level I think the most important thing is in golf is putting because everybody can hit the ball and so at the end you have to get the ball in the hole and that's going to be with putting on every hole you're going to make use of the of your putter because you don't have to hit every hole a driver but you have to hit every hole the putter so i think the most important thing in golf is your putter if if you can hit your putter well and you can roll it well then you can shoot low scores well i see a lot of talent in here some of these kids can play golf and as uh they show me they are chipping and the putting some of these go- these girls can and the guys as well but i think the girls won today they they were pretty good this is uh, an opportunity to grow junior golf in kenya we are creating future we are developing future of golf in the country because golf starts from this age golf starts from this level uh they develop they rhyme better with the ball at this age so it's a big benefit uh, for them and to see the pros from sanction to and our local pros participating in this Greg Snow 
and David Wack who were among the Kenyans who had maintained impressive performances as the tournament was drawing to a close. Ball striker was fantastic today. Uh, really hit the ball very well, controlled it, hit a lot of greens and held a few pots. Uh, I just went back to the range yesterday in the afternoon, built a bit of confidence with my swing, worked on a few things and I uh, paid off today. Played really well, scramble when I needed to, came up with that when I needed to. So yeah, it's a very good run. So it's good, I mean the golf course is in good condition, the greens are a bit quicker today. Uh, so there's no excuse why I don't do shoot some good numbers. So in terms of that, uh, looking forward to tomorrow, taking the same momentum going into tomorrow. Just stay relaxed, uh, I mean, uh, just got to know I uh, stay, execute my game plan tomorrow, same thing that I've been doing for the last three days and I uh, just got to focus on that. Today I started very well on the uh, front nine. I hit uh, pretty many good shots and uh, I enjoyed that side. But uh, coming on the ba back nine, I, from the fair I made a bogey. Then from there, everything started now kind of uh, getting blew up. But I held myself, I said, okay, let me just hang in there and see what I'm gonna finish with. But I'm happy how I've ended up and uh, I look forward to go and work at the range at the area where I struggle today. Uh, today I haven't hit my iron shots very well, so I think uh, I need to go and do a bit of uh, practice at the range. Uh, we are very grateful for this uh, performance this week and uh, we hope that uh, we can maintain that uh, in the coming years that uh, we can actually be able to have a mindset of winning a tournament. There is high hope that we can get invites. We hope that uh, the other professional association, especially the Sunshine Tour, give them a privilege to go and play their tour without uh, going to the pre-queue. Because there it's very difficult. If you if you're just going to pre-queue, then you go to the event. It costs you a lot of uh, effort and also money-wise. So we hope that uh, the Sunshine Tour will, if they can invite three or five, top five in Kenya, it will be better for us. In the title chase, South Africa's Toto Timba was giving Ferreira a good run for his money as the pair finished 19 under par and 20 under par respectively, setting up what would be an epic finale of the 2019 KCB Karen Masters. I enjoy myself. I played very well. Uh, I hit the ball very well and I parried well, so I didn't make any mistakes today. So I'm very pleased with the round that I played. I shot 66, so which is good. Uh, I can't complain. You know, I've been in this position before, so I'm, I'm used to this. You know, so I didn't have any pressure and, uh, you know, I was so relaxed. Uh, I was playing my best golf today, so I didn't make any few mistakes, uh, whole long parts, I missed some. But yeah, you know, you can't complain with a round like this. Look, I'm going to stick with my three days game plan. You know, I'm not changing anything. I'm just, just going to go out, attack again and, uh, and uh, if we'll see if, with the results, you know. Today went went according to plan as best as possible. I had two little three putts that kind of spoiled the round a little, but I putted good. Other than that, um, hit the ball as good as the first two rounds. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I think it's going to be a, a good battle between him and I, and hopefully some other guys will. I don't know what the scores are, but if they're close, it'll come up as well and give us a battle. Hopefully the same as what happened today, um, but hopefully I'll come up on top. Obviously the course is, I think, suiting my eye. Um, I'm, I've got a game plan of just hitting driver everywhere and hitting my driver good so I think if you drive the ball well here you can get it close enough to the green where it's just some little wedge shots and if you hit them good you get give yourself a great opportunity to make birdie. Oh, I think I'm going to just do what I've been doing the first few rounds. It's, it's worked so far. I think it'll be silly to change what's been working so I'll just stick to my game plan, not worry about what everyone else is doing and just 
hopefully come up on top tomorrow. Pulsating rounds of golf, it was up to Steven Ferreira and Toto Timber to take on the course and battle it out for the main prize on offer. A convincing performance from Toto Timber would see him go one over Steven Ferreira and press on throughout the course for a tournament victory. The tournament has been quite good. As you can see right now we are a few a few rounds off the finish and the leaderboard keeps changing. One two, one two, and we are like uh, I think Timba is leading Ferreira by two shots. And we are, everybody keeps watching that. The local pros have played an amazing game. So this time we have more pros who've made the cut, more pros who are uh, giving competition to the foreigners who've come in. So it's an amazing experience. The food has been great. The putting scene was awesome, you know? Everybody was coming from everywhere. I played solid today again. Um, kind of got off to a bad start, but I pulled it back nicely and started to play some good golf. Um, obviously, Toto played unbelievable. Um, can't take it away from him. He was the deserving winner after his performance today. But it was good fun out there. Um, we had a good battle. I think in the middle of the round there, we were neck and neck. And then, yeah, he just kind of pulled away towards the end there. And I just let it slip. That's all it really came down to. It was never over until until right at the end there, obviously, until he made, made his par on the last hole. Um, I was I was pretty confident that I could pull it back and make some birdies and try and have a strong finish. Obviously, I didn't get the finish I wanted to, but I can't complain. Obviously, the golf is, as you can see, the, the level of golf is unbelievable. Um, I don't know when the last time a score was 1 on 26 on the Sunshine Tour. Um, I'm not too sure what the highest Kenyan is, but I think it was Greg Snow. Um, I think he played good golf and I think it's, it shows that the quality of golf is just improving worldwide. A convincing performance from Toto Timber would see him go one over Steven Ferreira and press on throughout the course for the tournament victory. To be honest with you, uh, I felt it on number five when I missed the green and uh, I had a poor chip, but you know, overall, I, I played very well, and uh, you know, I hit the ball great, I played well. So it, it, it was just an amazing week for me. You know, it's been a phenomenal week, and uh, the crowd's been good. And uh, to be honest with you, I felt home. You know, look, when I wake up, I wake up in a, with a positive attitude. So I, I, I knew I was gonna win, and uh, but I knew it wasn't gonna be easy out there. But you know, I've pulled it, I've pulled it, and I'm very pleased with the way I played. I had a great drive on first hole and uh, it, it hit the tree and it bounced left. I had a great second shot actually. Uh, that kept me going and uh, on second hole I had a gr long drive. I had a four iron on the green. I made Higgill and I just I just kept on going and everything. So I I played very well, you know, made a lot of babies and two drops. So, I mean, seven and I'll take it any day. I had a decent lie, you know, and uh, I mean, Steve hit it close, and I knew that I had to hit it close as well to make Bailey to put pressure on him, and uh, and I, I hold it. So it, I thank God for that. I feel good about myself, you know. I, 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 yeah, I feel good about myself, and I beat all the all of them. So it's, I'm, I'm the champion. So yeah, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I enjoy myself. I think the crowd they were were the phenomenal, and uh, I have to give thanks to all the fans who came with numbers. And uh, without without them, this wouldn't be possible. You know, uh, I think I was very relaxed seeing them with numbers. So I want to thank to the fans as well. You know, thank you so much for coming, and I really appreciate it. And uh, and thank for Kenya. <laughs> A 
much cherished victory for Timba and a spectacular performance from the Kenyan golfers. I think it's been an amazing um, tournament. Yeah? And we're really happy that we've had, as you said, the eight yeah, profs that have played uh, and one amateur. And uh, we're also happy that we've taken seventh place. So I think we're moving actually in the right direction. After the Kenya Open, then we have this. I hope we'll have a few more uh, before the end of the year. Um, I think, it, first of all, it creates a wonderful image of our country, uh, and which I think is important. It's also critical because it allows our young people to see what sports can do for them, right? And that you can actually make a living, you know, out of... Uh, the talents that you have, right, that are God-given, uh, if you realize that potential. Today I want to congratulate those that took part in the tournament, uh, the Kenyan professionals, the amateur, uh, more importantly for those that have won, right, both in the juniors and, uh, and in the seniors. Uh, you know, so we're just looking forward, you know, to the next one. It's a big opportunity for us and uh, we are happy for, uh, for, for this event. And uh, we just hope and pray for the KCB to actually look forward to partner with us, uh, with the local pros, and actually give us a big hand, as like they've done. We appreciate a lot for their support, and we hope that things are going to be better. And uh, to our pros, kudos for those who have made it, and for those who didn't make it, we, there is always another chance. So we are hoping that we are going to pull our house together and uh, be able to to match the uh, the top pros from outside. As you can see, it's not a cheap thing to do. It's a rather expensive exercise, and it would not be able would not be able to do it without sponsors. So I want to thank all sponsors, and uh, we had lunch with all of them. So I have had a chance to, to thank them. I do want to thank the staff at Caring Club. I think all of you would agree with me that they've done a fantastic job. This tournament presents a perfect opportunity for local and international golfers to sharpen their skills, learn from each other, and network for global competitions. I would like to assure current country club and the Sunshine Tour that we will continue as KCB with this solid partnership next year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Chairman, and, and we very much appreciate that. Sports, as I said earlier on to some of my friends, is one of the things that actually holds us together, brings us together, but also creates a wonderful image of this country that we all love. It creates wonderful role models for our children, and I want to thank the, those that won the juniors, uh, because I really think that's the future of golf in our country. I know that uh, probably many years to come, probably in a wheelchair, I'll come here to support them, taking, <laughs> taking the lead in tournaments such as this. So congratulations to all those that uh, were here earlier on. Pleasure to announce the winners of the 2019 KCB Karen Masters. Our leading amateur on a score of 289, Simon Njogo. Nineteen Karen Masters on scores of 68, 63, 66 and a closing 65 for a total of 26 under the par. Toto Jumbo Jr., my fellow wow. club. Well done, Toto. The KCB Group CFO, Mr. Lawrence Kiambi, to present the winner's check. He's got to sign it first just to make sure it's good. Irene, our golf administrator, who keeps us on the straight and narrow, holding the check. Thank you, Gary. But we need to do the jacket. We've got to have that jacket. I hope it fits, Toto, because... I'm not good in this, actually. Put me on the course, so I'll make berries. But, I mean, uh, <laughs> but I want to thank the fans. And actually, I was playing my 15 hole, and one guy says, I'm Kenyan. Yes, you're right, I am Kenyan, you know. Uh, the love that I receive here, uh, you guys have been great, you know. And I think uh, I appreciate the love that you gave me, uh, the support for working with me, uh, 
I hope I didn't disappoint you. Uh, I made a lot of babies. Uh, uh, but I want to thank my caddy, you know, Pessy. Uh, we've been through a lot of things. Uh, thank you so much. And I want to thank the Gary Player class for helping us. And like I said, I'm not good in this. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much for Mr. Nathan, uh, Mr. Theo Mayama. Thank you guys for helping us. And I really appreciate the support. And I hope this win will open doors to all the black professional golfers in Africa. Didn't do it for myself, but I did it for them. And my brothers, uh, if I can do it, you guys can do it. So uh, thank you so much. We're really pleased with what we've got, where we've got to so far. Um, we've got some interesting ideas to, uh, to expand some of the side type competitions. We've, we've, we've got the, the last three holes here are floodlit. So we could do some evening floodlit golf stuff. And we'll probably do that next year. There'll be something that, that comes in just to add an extra twist on the whole thing. Um, KCB have indicated that they want to carry on. Um, they want to see the, the, the sponsorship leading into the future and building the game, making it more interesting. The Sunshine Tour guys were looking at other courses this week to see whether they can add a second course in. High likelihood that there will be a second course. So we'll play the, the KCB Karen Masters um, the first week and then they'll go somewhere else, possibly for Pingo down on the coast um, for the second week. Ultimate would be also to bring in the, the course uh, in, in Uganda on the lakeside there, um, just outside Kampala. And I think that would be wonderful. And then you, have, you start to have an East African swing. Um, so for the players, it makes sense. You've got three opportunities to win prize money. Your, your big cost of getting into um, the, the East African region is amortized a little bit by having three competitions to play in. And I think for the fans and for the sponsors, lots more opportunity to get exposure to the, the game of golf. So I think it, it's, it's nice. We will continue to build on the Karen Masters, make it more exciting, make it more interesting, um, get, the, get the level up and up. Um, and hopefully we can um, see some other courses coming in as well. Um, and then we'll, we'll have a very exciting uh, set of golf competitions in, in East Africa. KCB Bank, we sponsor every spot there is because we believe that it is a strong part of the community. There is no way you can grow and change communities. And in some instances, it's pretty much like uh, you look at it and for some people, entertainment or sports is their way out, right? It's the way they're going to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. So we know that sports are a critical part of changing how the youth, young people in every community or even older generations occupy themselves. For KCB Bank, once we start to partner on something, if it is delivering, we are absolutely going to stick with it. So it is my expectation that given the support and um, interest we have seen in the current masters, there is no reason for us not to continue. I mean, if you think about it, when the WRC exited Kenya in uh, 2003, KCB stepped up and sponsored the motorsport from then until today. Even now we are still in motorsport and now Kenya is going back into the WRC. So it is my expectation, even this one where we are with the Sunshine Tour, there is no reason for us to exit the partnership as long as the partnership is working out for not just the bank but for Kenya as well. A fantastic way to wrap up a week of electrifying golf action. And as the curtains close on the 2019th edition of the KCB Karen Masters, the future looks brighter than ever for Kenyan golf.